hope you're having an amazing day today. I thought I would do a little video on some of the best books um, that I have found in 2020 with regards to self-development and kind of getting yourself feeling positive. Here's little Pumba. Hey, you say hello. <laughs> He's so handsome. Oh, I love him so much. He makes me so happy. And my, I'm so lucky with my dogs. They are literally the best in the world. So, as I was saying, sorry, um, that we, I thought I would do, yeah, a kind of rundown of some of the books that have really helped me that I found really interesting um, and that have kind of explained self-development and things like that in a way that I can understand. So, if you are interested, then carry on watching this video. Also, if you're not already subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe. Also, pop over to my Instagram where I put daily posts um, on everything positive and I have a really lovely supportive community. Okay, so first I thought I'd start with some really simple books that um, are great if you just want to have a little kind of read through, little few tips and tricks and things like that. These were actually, I purchased them just from the works. I'm sure you can find this on Amazon as well. And they are these little books here. And they are all called The Little Book of, and then there's happiness, um, resilience, breathing, self-care, inner peace. And you can get lots of different ones of these. Each time you go into them, it's got a page and it explains kind of, for example, it explains the science of happiness in this one. And then it goes into lots of tips and tricks um, of how you can kind of put this into your own life and how you can start kind of understanding more about yourself, understanding more about the things that will help you overcome challenges. If I'm ever feeling a little bit low or a little bit kind of rubbish I'll always go to it and I'll just for example I've just flipped to a page there um, and it says it talks about gratitude journaling for example so these ones I found really really great this year um, or last year um, getting through things just something easy to flip through so the next one that I'm going to go for is um, you probably may have heard of it but I highly 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 recommend and this is the good vibes good life um, how self-love is the key to unlocking your greatness by vex king and honestly I learned so much from this book it's absolutely wonderful how it's laid out it's got all different sections so um, you can always when you kind of look on the side you can see all the little black bits so you can just flick to the sections that you want to and what it says, I'll just give you a little description on the back. It says, how can you learn to truly love yourself? How can you transform negative emotions into positive ones? Is it possible to find lasting happiness? It talks all about, you know, how to prioritise self-care, overcoming toxic energy, prioritising well-being, all of these kind of things. And I can not recommend this book highly enough. Um, I actually bought my best friend this book when she was um, going through a bit of a tough time last year um, and she absolutely loved it as well so highly highly recommend that one. Next one I would say um, I'm going to go for another kind of flip through one so if you're wanting to have something that you can just literally flip through learn a few bits um, I would say this one was a really really good one and this is practical um, mindfulness so obviously this one's focused on mindfulness it says on the back, the benefits of mindfulness are well documented. Live your life in the present moment and attain happiness. But how do you apply it to everyday life? I absolutely love these kind of books where it's just really easy to flip to each thing. Um, so again, I would highly, highly recommend this one, um, especially if you're almost beginning um, to look into kind of like mindfulness and things like that. It's a really just nice, easy read, nothing too heavy. A bit of a unique one and this is a lovely lovely book and it's called self-love and spiritual alchemy and it's all about strengthening your self-worth mastering your mindset and manifesting the life you desire now i really enjoyed this but not everything in it is um going to be everybody's cup of tea so quite a lot of it talks about kind of manifestation about the secret um there's a few things like the law of attraction and that kind of thing however there's some lovely, lovely things in here and it really makes you think, as you can see, I've put lots of kind of um, <laughs> bits in here to flip to. It really does get you thinking of, um, and this book really does help you to kind of get that self-love back. Another easy to flip through one. Um, so this is actually kind of like a cross between a journal and a book. This is by Calm. So you may have heard of the app Calm, you may use that. And this is kind of something that I think is a really nice thing to go with it. So it has in there journaling pages, but it also discusses things about how you can be calm, how you can kind of 
like relax your mind, relax your body. And it says on the back, modern life is exhausting, join the calm revolution. And it talks about the importance of stopping, recharging and discovering those moments of calm. It's got an absolutely great mixture of things in here. As I say, it has creative prompts, it has like tips and tricks, another easy to flip through book. Highly, highly recommended. So again, if you want to go and search about sort of understanding about mindfulness um, and things like that, these are two really, really good books, which are a little bit more in depth. This one, which is Mindfulness, which is a great book. It says life can be relentless, frantic and exhausting, but it doesn't have to be this way. So mindfulness reveals a set of simple yet powerful practices that you can incorporate into daily life to break that anxiety, stress, um, unhappiness and exhaustion. It also even comes um, with a CD as well of guided meditations. And with this one, um, I also, because I suffer from um, chronic pain as well, I got the mindfulness for health. Um, this again, absolutely brilliant. It says pain, suffering and stress can be intolerable, but it doesn't have to be this way. And it's got a simple set of kind of all practices and things like that that you can do. Um, for example, in this one, it also shows you kind of different postures. So these are two very, very good, more slightly more detailed books, which is great. And these are great things to kind of incorporate into your morning routine. Um, so just taking 10 minutes to just flick through one of these. Next one. Now, I always thought that these kind of books, so it's for, you know, the books for dummies. Um, so it's got everything, every physical thing that you could imagine. They had one which is neuro-linguistic programming for dummies. Now, if you haven't heard of neuro-linguistic programming before, it says, well, I might just read. It says, it helps you understand what makes you tick, how you think, how you feel, and how you make sense of everyday life in the world around you. This book explains the basics and shows you practical, easy to use ideas for applying NLP into your own life to resolve issues, make changes, and understand yourself and others better. So, NLP is something that will really, really help you if you do suffer from um, stress, anxiety, depression. Um, to be honest, even if you don't suffer from any of those things, it's an incredibly helpful thing to understand. They are full of absolutely everything. I love the way that they lay out the pages. It makes reading it so, so much easy. Again, it's one that I tend to read, you know, all the way through but you can flip to each page. It's got tips, it's got tricks, it's got exercises to, to do. It's got all like sort of scientific kind of knowledge so that you can understand about why you're feeling the way you are. Um, Toolkits, it's got loads of things that you can kind of copy and print out and things like that. Honestly, these books, they have it on everything. I highly, highly recommend that one. And then we'll go into the last ones, which is called Change Your Life with Positive Psychology. And I'm really, I'm someone that absolutely loves um, psychology, understanding how the brain works. Um, I find it absolutely fascinating. It's incredible. And this book did not disappoint. I've had quite a few books like this um, that can go a little bit too much into detail and my mind can often wander so I can read over a paragraph about 10 times. But this is easy to read, really interesting and it massively, massively helps you. So this says every aspect of your life can be improved with positive psychology. Um, it helps rebuild resilience, which is so important. Optimism, emotion, intelligence, self-esteem, wisdom, motivation, and so much more. It wakes you up to the power of feeling good, thinking positive, and acting generously. So it reveals the principles and practices of positive psychology and shows you how you can incorporate them in daily life. I'm gonna say this is like one of my favorite books I own because it is so beautiful. Um, it's called The Art of Wellbeing. So this is one that I kind of tend to keep on my bedside table and I tend to kind of look at it um, before I go to bed. It's one of those kind of, it looks really pretty. <laughs> it's lovely, the illustrations are beautiful. It's got lots of kind of tips and tricks and things like that. I wouldn't say it's one of the best ones with regards to kind of getting those tips and tricks and really understanding things, but it's such a lovely book just to dip in and out of. As I say, the illustrations are beautiful. A joyous, fulfilling life is built on a foundation of personal well-being and self-care feel energized, comforted and nour nourished by this inspirational collection of plant-based recipes and meditations. Those are all of my books um, that I really enjoyed in 2020. These are all the kind of self-development books, the things that will help you understand your brain, understand how you can kind of better yourself and how you can get through life's challenges. 
If you've got any books that you found last year that you really love, pop them in the comments section below because I really do need um, a new book list. I, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you are also going to get any of those books or if you've read them before. Um, I really hope you did find this helpful because I always love listening to what people have enjoyed reading and what has actually helped them. Um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also pop over to my Instagram as well where I post every single day. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I will speak to you very, very soon. Bye.